Hello, and it is great um, to meet together for online church this morning. And um, I was just wondering, would you like a drink? Ah, oh, you would? Okay, there we go. Let me get this ready for you. Aha, is that enough? Oh, oh, it's not, not quite enough. Okay, well, let's, let's get you a little bit more ready for the day. How's that? Is that enough for the day? Well, e even that's not enough for the day. Okay, well, maybe I could just about do... There we go. That should definitely last you all day. Enjoy. Oh, so actually, yeah, no, that isn't, that isn't going to be enough, is it? You would probably need a lot more than that. Um, well, one of the things that me and my brother um, have done ever since we were kids is we would offer each other a drink and then we would um, go and pour the smallest amount possible um, into each other's glass and then walk off. And we find it very funny. Um, I don't think anyone else does, um, but, but we have a good laugh every time we, uh, we do it. Um, but it, it kind of got me thinking a little bit about some of the promises in the Bible. And, and there's an amazing one in John chapter 10, verse 10. And it goes like this. Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it to the full. Um, and, and sometimes that's translated life in abundance. And so Jesus, in that promise that he doesn't, he's not offering us like a, it's not kind of a small thing that he's offering us. He's not kind of, I'm offering you a little bit of life. Um, or I'm offering you kind of, um, you know, just, you know, sort of half, half a glass full of life. Um, but no, the promise is that, that I have come that you may have life in all its fullness. Life in abundance. And, and that's an amazing promise. It's an amazing promise for us to hold on to over um, the coming days. And, uh, and I was thinking, what does that mean? I've come that you might have a life in all its fullness. Well, I think it, I was thinking maybe two things. One is that it's, it's about being able to enjoy the good things that God gives us. And, and those may be small things. They may be the, the conversations that we have with the the people we live with, or, or maybe over the phone, um, or, or kind of online. It may be enjoying the opportunity to, um, to to go for a walk, or to look out of our window and, and see the world that God has made. And it may they may be different things than a few months ago. And the other thing I was thinking about was that actually living life to the full also means remembering those things that never change. The, the things like God's love, his plans, um, his purposes for us, his, his grace for us, that he, he died on a cross for us and that we have value and worth because of that. Those things never change. No matter what happens around us, there are, there are eternal things. And as we remember those, we can live life to the full. But often, I think, certainly for me, is that one of the things that stops me living life to the full is worry. That I start to worry about things. And those worries go round and round in my mind. But a wonderful thing uh, that we often do at Junior Church, and, and we say it, um, we, we say have this little saying, it goes like this, it says, turn your worries into prayers. Turn your worries into prayers. That every time we worry, it's actually an opportunity for us to pray. And so I'd encourage you today, on Sunday or whenever you're watching this, to, to grab some paper we do this, again, we do this in junior church, and just to write down your worry, or draw it, or maybe it's the worry of, um, that you know someone else has. Write it down, draw it, uh, and as we lift it to God, um, we can ask him to receive his peace as we do that. And then once you've done it, you've drawn it or you've written it, then why not turn your, um, your prayer on the bit of paper into a paper aeroplane and have some fun. God bless.